Introduction. Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we will discuss political systems and how they've changed. We'll also discuss creating a hybrid government combining different political and economic systems and how they can promote social equity, innovation, and global cooperation. Question 1. What are the different political and economic systems that exist? So there are different political and economic systems, like democratic capitalism, socialist market economies, and mixed economies. Democratic capitalism is all about individualism, democracy, and free market capitalism. Socialist market economies prioritize government control over strategic industries and pricing. Mixed economies combine the two to balance state and private enterprise needs. Question 2. What are the challenges of creating a hybrid government? Creating a hybrid government is no easy feat, guys. It takes a lot of negotiation between different groups and political factions. We must also consider the cultural and social factors that have shaped each country's political and economic systems. So if we want to incorporate woke ideology into a hybrid government, we must be careful about its implementation and unintended consequences. Question 3. How can social equity, innovation, and global cooperation maximize the potential of a mixed government? To make the most out of a mixed government, we've got to prioritize social equity, innovation, and global cooperation. We need inclusivity and representation to promote democracy, equality, and justice. We've also balanced economic growth with social equity to serve the needs of all citizens. Encouraging innovation and entrepreneurship can create jobs, drive economic growth, and address systemic inequalities. Promoting global cooperation can help tackle global challenges like climate change, economic inequality, and social justice. Question 4. Why is it important to acknowledge atrocities committed under Hitler and old-school communist regimes? It's super important to acknowledge the atrocities committed under both Hitler and old-school communist regimes. While it's true that the Soviet Union played a significant role in defeating Hitler in World War II, this doesn't excuse the human rights abuses, political repression, and other atrocities committed under the Soviet regime. Instead, we must condemn all human rights abuses and political repression, regardless of the political ideology or system. Conclusion. So that's it, guys. We've talked about political systems and how they've changed over time. We've also explored the challenges of creating a hybrid government that promotes social equity, innovation, and global cooperation. And we've reminded ourselves to acknowledge and condemn atrocities committed under both Hitler and old-school communist regimes, despite their role in defeating Hitler. Let's keep working towards creating a better future that promotes human rights, dignity, and respect for all individuals. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this one.